Hello, everybody, and welcome to my alpha 1.1.2 underscore zero one world. Today, I'm going to show you my EATS road. EATS stands for Ethos Advanced Transportation System. He designed this back in, I think, 14 years ago. I think it was alpha 1.2 that he made this. The reason anyone would make something like this, it's a road that utilizes boats, is because getting iron ore is a lot harder in this version. Uh, if you were to consistently make iron pickaxes and go mining in caves and strip mine, you would lose iron slowly rather than gain it like you do in modern. So this just uses wood, water, and cobblestone, or whatever building block you have. It's a, it's a cheaper alternative to a minecart system. So in a thumbnail, it's probably called something like Boat Highway. I just uh, did that so that it's a little bit more understandable to people who may not be familiar with old Minecraft and its famous contraptions. But Etho deserves all the credit for inventing this. So this is my station. Uh, it's a little bit of a work in progress. It's at this island that I'm planning on turning into a passive mob farm because it's in the middle of an ice ocean. But that's a project for another time. How this Eats Road works is I hop in a boat here. It's loaded. There's a pressure plate underneath the boat that deactivates this door allowing that boat to continue flowing down there. It flows underneath these ladders. These ladders have a small hitbox. That stops the boat from bobbing up and down like it would on flowing water. The flowing water only goes three blocks before hitting a pressure plate and then restarting, because if it goes any longer, the water level will be lower and the boat will bottom out and break. Also, when I get in here, this door uh, deactivates and lets in a new boat that's also loaded. When I come into the station, this uh, pressure plate is activated, activating this door, allowing me to stop the boat and get out. When I get out, the pressure plate is deactivated and the boat goes back into the system and is reloaded. So let me show you underneath before we take a tour on the road. Like I said, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Here we are, this is the mechanical area. I can click this wool block to load a new boat. I'll do that in a second. When a boat comes into the station, it falls through that slit into here, gets pushed up against this wall and into this corner where it'll rise up and be ready to load. This is a thing in old versions that when a boat is underneath a lot of water, it'll rise upwards instead of staying underwater like it does in modern, I think. This is all the redstone lines for those pressure plates above. Not a totally useful room, but it's kind of cool. All right, I have a bolt right here. I'm going to click this wall block, and you're going to see how this gets loaded in the machine. So there it goes. Falls down, gets pushed up against the wall, and then rises up. It's going to bounce around a little bit, but it's ready to go. So, enough talking about that. It's time to take this thing for a spin. As you can see, a new boat went into place of the old boat, the one that I'm on now. And here we are. It's kind of noisy because of all the pressure plates. You could use signs, but signs don't stack in this version. So it's a lot more difficult. Also, I think the, the noise from the pressure plates is somewhat satisfying. Tickles my brain a little bit. We're reaching speeds, I think, comparable to that of a minecart, which is why this is a nice alternative, although I think it takes a lot longer to build. And here is the other station. So, that door closed, stopping this boat. I can get out. And there it goes. It'll get loaded back into the system. The mechanism of this station is a carbon copy of the other one. This is the mainland and a mining colony that I have. I really do like this terminal here. It's very clean and I like the slab floor because it kind of changes your design principles which are limited in alpha. In case you're curious, it's the same thing. Well, anyway, that's everything I had to show you today. Uh, hopefully I can show more cool things on this world. Let me know if you'd like to see something like that. And uh, I still have to build that passive mob farm. So thanks for watching and have a good night.